Hello guys, I'm Joe from JC Design and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a laptop mock-up in Photoshop. So let's get started. So the first thing we'll do is we'll open up Photoshop and then we'll go to File and then Open and then we'll open up our uh, mock-up image. Once that's open, then you need to go to um, your layer, layer tab, click on layers, make a new layer. Once that's done, go down to rectangle tool, then make a new rectangle. Make sure you don't have the stroke selected, make sure you just have the fill selected. Then make a, make a rectangle. Once that's done, double click on the layer and then go to color overlay. Change the color to red so we can see what we're doing. Then click OK. Then after that, what you need to do is convert that object into a smart object. By simply right clicking on the layer and then clicking the smart object. Once that's done, hit Ctrl T to bring up the transform option make the uh, rectangle a bit smaller and take the opacity down to about 50 percent just so you can see through it after that hit ctrl t again oh bit of a mistake there hit ctrl t again and then you bring up your transform options and then you want to right click and then go down to distort and take each edge of the rectangle and then just adjust it so that it fits into the, uh, the screen of the laptop. Make sure you zoom in and make some uh, finer detail, finer moves. Uh, remember to right click and then click distort. And then once you're happy, just kind of zoom out and make sure that the uh, the red box looks like it's part of the screen. Now what we need to do is get a um, an image that we're going to put in as the mock-up. I'm going to use my website, uh, joseph-connor.co.uk. And then we go to Snipping Tool, uh, New, and then we'll just snip this uh, this image. Right click, copy, and then we'll close this down. Don't bother saving it. Then I'll just paste this into Photoshop. Just make a new document and hit Control V and your document should come up. Then we're gonna crop away the uh, excess that we don't need. So if you hit C, you get up the crop tool and then just crop it where you think is best. So once you've done that, now you need to hit Control A, Control C, and Control W to uh, close the, the the document down. Don't bother saving it. And then Control V to paste it into your uh, your image. And once we've done that, what we need to do is we need to click on the smart object, double click on the little icon on the smart object, and then hit Control V and that'll paste your, um, your selection into the smart object. And then just kind of hit the Control T button and then transform it to the size that you want. Make it a little bit bigger, kind of adjust it accordingly. And then once you're happy, hit Control and S to save that to the new smart object. Go back to your main image. We don't really need this anymore. I just paste it in there so that we wouldn't lose it. Get rid of that. And now you can see that it's uh, in the picture frame of the laptop. But we need to put the opacity up so that we can see what we're looking at. Still not finished yet. We need to add a few more effects. But that looks pretty good to me. So then what we need to do is double click on the layer and get up our layer styles first thing we need to do is go to inner shadow and this will create uh, a more realistic effect kind of showing that it has a shadow and it's part of the image 
Still need to adjust it a little bit. You double click on to the inner shadow style and then we just bring it up. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. It's probably a bit too much, but yeah, I think it'll work. And then we want to go down to gradient uh, overlay just so that there's a little bit of a shine so it looks like there's uh, the sun shining on the screen. We'll just make this a bit darker in the gradient and then we'll just move this to maybe overlay just to see what that looks like maybe lighten actually yeah that looks a lot better I'll take the opacity down because uh, it looks a bit too much and that is pretty much it uh, I hope this tutorial was useful. Uh, if you did find it useful, please leave a comment in the comment box below. And uh, remember to hit that subscribe button because I've got way more videos coming. Uh, thanks for watching guys. See you later. Goodbye.